So I'm not sure if you can tell from my YouTube videos, but I'm not a very tall guy. At best, I'm five foot four, and by the end of a long day, I'm probably down to five foot two. So being a short guy must have been a terrible experience, right? Well, not really, because I grew up in Hawaii, and in Hawaii, a lot of people are short. So in this video, I wanna talk about what it was like being short in Hawaii. And I thought it'd be interesting to talk about being short in Hawaii since that's probably one of the first things that people from the mainland notice about people in Hawaii. It's like, if you're like six foot tall, you're pretty much a giant. And I think it's just one of those things that as locals, we kind of forget because our relative height is that much lower than that in other places. So I wanted to also mention that an Australian company called Jenin reached out to me to review a pair of their elevator shoes, which I am currently testing and reviewing. If you're interested in that, I'll have a review towards the end of the video. So apparently on average, Hawaii is the shortest state. And for men, the average height is about five foot nine inches. And for women, it's about five foot three inches. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we have a large Asian population. And just speaking anecdotally, I would say that if you are five foot eight or taller, you're pretty tall. So growing up as a short kid in Hawaii, it kind of never really bothered me. I was probably the smallest kid in my class, definitely the, the, the shortest boy in my class. I remember they would line us up by height and I would be next to the shortest girl. But the thing is back then it wasn't really that big a deal because I felt like there were a lot of other short people as well. But what really bothered me at that time was actually my hair because back then my, my hair was kind of messy and I couldn't figure out how to style it. Eventually I grew a little bit taller and then towards middle school, like I think a lot of other Japanese kids maybe can relate, I kind of just stopped growing. Like for whatever reason, I, I kind of caught up to the girls, but then I just kind of just, I kind of just stopped. And I remember back then I tried everything I could to get taller. I drank a lot of milk because I heard that might work. I tried to hang on like a monkey bar to try and stretch out my back. I even tried to like lean over the edge of the bed and try to like, you know, stretch out and just try to make my back longer, but nothing worked. And that's when I realized it was just genetics. But here's the thing I couldn't quite understand back then. For whatever reason, other kids who were short were being teased for their height, but I don't feel like anyone ever teased me for being short. And may maybe they were doing it behind my back and I just didn't know, but I never received as much teasing as I probably should have. And I think the reason why it never bothered me back then being short was because I felt like I came from a very safe environment at home. I had two parents who loved me and they told me that they loved me. And so I had this confidence, I guess, when I came to school that even if I was short, it just wasn't that big a deal. I don't understand the psychology of bullies, but I have a feeling that at that young of an age, they try to test people out, right? Like they try to see if they can get away with teases and they'll see how certain kids react. And they just have a really good sense of weak kids or, or kids who are very, very insecure. And back then, I don't think I exhibited any of that. I mean, people may have teased me initially, but after they saw how I handled it or that it didn't really bother me, I think they kind of just moved on. But I do remember it being very strange, especially when I got a little bit older, like in high school. There were kids who were teased or like referred to as being the short kid. And I remember thinking to myself, if they're the short kid, what am I? Because I was actually either shorter or at least the same height as them. But no one ever referred to me as the short guy, even though I probably was. What is going on? What is going on over there? That was weird. But I do want to mention where I think my height gave me a big disadvantage, particularly in high school. I played volleyball in high school, and as you can imagine, someone who is 5'4 or 5'6 on my stat sheet, <laughs> it was quite hard to play volleyball. And back then, they didn't have the libero position, which is like the back row specialist. And so it was hard because I could only pretty much play in the back row or I'd come in to serve every now and then. That was really hard. It was my dream to play all around. And I tried and I trained. I even remember buying these 
special shoes called jump soles and I would run around in them and I would try to build up my calves so I could jump. And there were people who played volleyball on other teams where they were about five, four, five, six, but they had worked on their, their hops. They worked on their vertical. And so they could play the entire time. But for me, I just couldn't, you know, being, being five, four, I almost could walk under the men's net. And when I actually went to jump, I could get like, just like my fingertips, like, like just, just like right around there. Like that's all I could get above the net to block. And when you're playing competitive, that's just not gonna cut it. All right, well, let's talk about dating. I think that's a very interesting and I'm sure touchy subject for some guys who are relatively short. And I remember back in like elementary school and middle school, there were a lot of girls who were interested in me. Okay, okay, maybe not a lot of girls, but there were, there were some girls. Because you know how it is. Back then, everyone is sort of secretly liking everyone else. And it's just this whole weird thing where even if you tell someone that you like them, you can't really do anything about it. And I remember as I got older and I sort of just stopped growing, I still expressed interest in girls who were taller than me, sometimes kind of a lot taller than me. They never just bothered me in any way. But maybe the girls thought it was kind of weird. And sure, I've met some girls who just weren't interested in me, primarily because I was short or at least shorter than them. But as I grew into adulthood, I realized that there are a lot of different women and they come in different sizes and heights and personalities and character and intelligence, like all these different things. And so I think learning that and discovering that, it, it kind of helped as I was dating and trying to figure out that whole thing. But all that to say for guys who are concerned about that, finding a partner who is shorter than you if you're like five foot four or five foot six, there are plenty, there are plenty of women here in Hawaii who are like five foot two to five foot tall. My wife is about five foot one and unfortunately for my son, I don't know if he's gonna be more than five foot five. But hopefully, I mean, we got some genes in there maybe that we passed along that he might be like five foot nine, but probably not. So I do want to thank Jenin for sending me these pair of shoes to try out. They sent me these shoes because they saw my review on the like local slippers and they thought that my audience might be interested. Maybe because people from Hawaii are short? Not sure. Jenin makes elevator shoes in a variety of styles, which basically makes a person taller than they seem. And I really like the different varieties that they do have. And this is the one that I asked to try. But I do want to make some comments on the shoes, particularly on how they might or might not work in Hawaii. So for the mainland, people tend to wear their shoes outdoors and indoors. But in Hawaii, you don't wear shoes in the house. And so I think in Hawaii, it's going to be particularly troublesome and kind of noticeable, right? If you're wearing these certain shoes and you're a certain height and then you take off your shoes and now all of a sudden you're that much shorter. I think it's going to be very noticeable and in fact I think it's gonna be pretty awkward. These shoes also require you to wear long pants and while I'm not too worried about wearing long pants some of the time I don't think I can wear long pants all of the time and the reason why you have to wear long pants I first realized is because what happened with the shoe how they construct it and it's very well constructed sorry for the grass stain but it's very well constructed but because the heel goes up when you put your foot in the actual shoe, it looks kind of weird from the side, don't you think? Like, it, your heel looks like, your ankle looks so high up the shoe, it's just kind of strange. And so to hide that, you're gonna have to wear long pants. But as you know, being in Hawaii, it's so hot sometimes that wearing long pants sometimes is just not very practical. And I wanna wear, I don't wanna wear shorts. And the last thing to mention, especially for those Hawaii guys out there, is the walk, okay? so. I have what I call a Hawaii walk, you know what I mean? The Hawaii walk, right? Where you kind of drag your feet a little bit when you walk. But when you wear these kinds of shoes, you can't drag your feet because if you do, you're going to fall. And as I was testing them out and I was walking with them, I realized that something's got to give, right? Either I have to change the way that I walk or else I'm going to fall. Or I just can't wear these shoes when I go out to actually walk considerable distances. 
But if those things don't bother you and you're looking for shoes to make you a little taller, I say go check them out. You can go check out their website and they have a variety of styles. There's work shoes, casual shoes, and I think they even have sandals. That being said, I don't feel like I need to wear elevator shoes. And if you've been around this channel for a while, you know that I tend to be a little open and honest and upfront. <laughs> and to me, wearing these types of shoes, it's kind of like you're trying to trick people to be something that you're not. I found that height isn't something that you can necessarily control. Unlike being obese or overweight where you can you know, eat healthier and exercise more and you can change the way that your body is. Being taller, you, you can't really fix that after a certain point. I mean, I can't will myself to be any taller. And so if someone were to come up to me and say, wow, you're short. I can only say yes <laughs> and, and thanks for the observation. What else can I say? Of course, I don't want to be too short like those old five foot tall Japanese guys who are at McDonald's with their friends drinking coffee at 4 a.m. yapping it up. Or maybe I do. A 2014 study found that Japanese American men who were five foot two and shorter tended to live longer because they had this certain genome, this Fox03 genome that made them live longer. So who knows? Maybe being short has certain advantages. So let me know what you think about being short in Hawaii in the comments below. Thanks for watching and aloha. Hello.